In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Yeelight Smart Light Panel. Let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Stream Smart with Yeelight. My name is John and today we're going to share with you about the Yeelight Smart Light Panels that I have over here. Now in the previous episode of Ultimate Dash, we've already installed right there behind and you can see there is six panels of these Yeelight Smart Lights that we have with additional of three more extension that we put up together. Today, we're going to dive in into details what this Yeelight Smart Light Panel is all about. The Yeelight Smart LED light panels are lights that dance to game and music. These triangle RGB lights work with this great smart platform creating immersive spaces with lights whether you are gaming or live streaming. Now essentially, these are ambient light that looks fantastic in your whole entire desk setup or office or wherever. It is perfect for gaming. It is perfect for streaming. They give you the RGB look and feel in the room. Now I have with me everything over here for the Yi Light Light panel to, to do this explainer video. And what it is, these are triangular lights frosted Pretty smooth, pretty nice for the soft and vibrant light that these lights are outputting, okay? And we have certainly the control panel. This one, the control panel where it has the power button over here. This M right here is stands for magic. And we have S which is static mode and also the music mode. Of course, we have the power adapter. At the end of this connector, we plug it into this socket that enables us to power up the light using this connector over here. So this is how we do it. That's it, as simple as that. Let me just power one of these on, okay? Give me a sec. There you go. So it powers on just like that, all right? Oh, previously I did connect the controller over here and this controller, you can just take it off and then it still works. But of course you need this one to power it on to control it. So how are these lights connected together in all these six panels that's in the box? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six. We have these connectors over here. And if you can see it clearly, it says next and previous over here. So imagine if this is the first panel, I will put the pre right here, whilst I will then connect the next panel, depending how you want to put it together, right there. And that it just power up the next one. You have to have a pre-visualization of how you want these panels to be lined up for it to work the way it is. So let's say if I want the lights to flow from here to there, I've got to make sure my previous is always on this side and my next is always on that side. So it moves from here to there all together. Once you have a clue how you want to position these, you could then have these stickers right here where you can just put it on to the light and stick it to a clean wall and it should stay. The instruction says that you got to hold it like 30 seconds towards the wall and then it should stay just like what I've done behind right there. So the very next thing that I need to do is add it into the Yeelight app so that I can control the lights that I have over here. So what I'm doing, I'm going to just add devices. Okay. I could then say it is a uh, others. We've got the magic light. Let's hold on to turn it off and then hold it for five to 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Ta-da, it turns red. Okay, so next step. So I'm joining it to my network, scanning magic light, select add, and then it's connecting. It's as simple as that. Once you add this into your network, you are just able to control it through the Yeelight app. So this is the app. I could change it to color. I could turn off. It takes a while. It has the, that dimmer effects that then, you know, slowly dim down to the off state. Or I could just turn it on. Let's change to blue, buddy. 
you could also use the control panel over here to change up the colors and whatever not so really it has a lot of different patterns and different colors and that's beyond my control in terms of like in individual panel it just decides how it wants to be animated or you could do music mode right here so once i click on music mode it is actually responding based on my voice okay want you or a clap or if you play some music it has a microphone that's built in over here to capture sound and if let's say you are the kind that hears headphones it has an audio jack that you can plug it into your audio source and i did find that the xiaomi official app has better control of the light where you could like have say gradient this is how the Yi light smart panels work you have the app you have all these controls it has music input and all you can certainly also control the lights via the amazon echo that you have or perhaps maybe a google home but we are stream smart with ye light we want to show you how we can integrate this light with home automation come with me now in the previous episode of stream smart ye light i've introduced home assistant and i've got it installed right here to control all the ye lights that we have in this setup so let's dive right in and we've got the ye light light panel over here i, I could like change the panel to like say blue color it does take some time for it to slowly fade into the color blue but we can certainly control the lights from here i could like also turn it off from this interface but this is another interface to take care of let me turn it right back on wouldn't it be cool if say the computer goes to sleep and the light automatically goes to sleep as well let's see how we can do that we're going to write an automation to implement this functionality. I've written an automation to do that, but for all of our viewers, I'll start a new one. So I create an automation and start with an empty automation. Automation starts with a trigger. In this case, we want to monitor the state of the computer. The moment the computer goes to sleep, that's our trigger. So click on add trigger select device because we want to be selecting our laptop as the device to monitor the state then we select the trigger point when the laptop active is turned off which translates to when the laptop changes its active state to either sleeping idle on off we select this and we select an action to perform when the trigger happens and in our case we select the device select e light panel and select turn off e light panels as its action Save this as our new automation and we are almost ready to go. I've also done the automation where the computer actually turns on. So when the MacBook Pro Active turns on, turn on the D-Light panel right there. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize this and see whether it works perfectly. So I'll go here, I'll say sleep. There you go it turns off everything is in the sleeping mode right now and this is what we could do with home automation together with e light imagine this if you were to turn off your laptop and all your lights just turn off that would be fantastic isn't it so let's break the laptop and see how it goes there it turns on by itself automatically This is just one of the many integrations that we can do together with Yi Light and Home Automation. Now, it can be as simple as even having a smart doorbell when it's pressed, the light turns on to give you some sort of notification. And especially useful if you have your headphones on while you're gaming or you're going on your live stream, you cannot hear your doorbell. What do you think about this Yi Light Smart Panel? Comment in the description below. If you have any question at all, please reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help you setting up your Yi Light Smart Light Panels. And if you haven't seen the episodes that I've uploaded so far with Stream Smart with Yi Light, the playlist is over here. So get into the playlist, go through the episodes that I've done. Let me know if you have any questions at all, and I'll be replying in the comments. Otherwise, 
Guys, I see you guys in the next video. Oh, subscribe if you're new. See you guys on the next one. Ciao.